Live at 6. When Marcus Wheeler shot and killed Omaha police officer Kerry Orozco last week, he was no stranger to police, especially in recent years. Brandon Scott continues the coverage he began a half hour ago, 6 p Live. John, all of Marcus Wheeler's criminal files are here at the Douglas County Courthouse, and those files are extensive. In fact, it took me more than an hour just to look through them today. One of those cases involved Erica Jenkins, convicted of first degree murder for her part in a deadly shooting spree led by her brother, Nico Jenkins. A few months prior to her conviction, Erica claimed Wheeler shot at her as she sat inside a car. Uh, Erica Jenkins was the eyewitness who uh, uh, identified him as the shooter, uh, in a, in, and we had filed that case. And then once Erica Jenkins was charged, uh, charged with murder, first degree murder, then uh, her availability as a witness for us was gone. She wasn't going to cooperate with us. I mean, it's, we have to have people that are going to come in and be willing to testify. Even if we subpoena them, they they don't have to to say what uh, maybe they've said before in a police report. And without that testimony, the prosecutor's office had to drop the charges against Wheeler, leaving him a free man. Wheeler also faced charges in 2006 for possessing a sawed-off shotgun, but those charges were dropped too because the witness was deployed to Iraq and couldn't testify. And in September of last year, police issued a warrant for Wheeler's arrest as the prime suspect in another shooting. And it was that warrant that Officer Kerry Orozco was serving last week when Wheeler opened fire and killed her. Reporting live with producer Roger Hamer, Brandon Scott, WWT 6 News.